epic battles! It's time for an epic battle. We've got lots of epic battles coming up because I like things to fight. I like to make things angry and put them together. So what I did is I made the 290X really angry and then I put it together with a 780 Ti and, and they're gonna fight to the pain because I wanna make sure that these don't die. I've gotta use them again. So anyway, the 290X that we have is the Triax and it's uh, probably my favorite 290X edition out there. It's from Sapphire. You guys can watch the video on it. There's gonna be like a thumbnail right about here. And then I'm gonna put the thumbnail for the 780Ti here. I've got the, uh, it's the ACX cooling unit edition super clocked thing from EVGA. So there should be links right about here and here on the screen where you can go watch those individual videos. Now, what I did is I took these two cards because they are the fastest two out there. And to be fair, the 290X is priced more like a 780, but it's the fastest thing that AMD really has right now other than their little crazy weird cards that are like two things taped together with duct tape. And then you've got, you know, NVIDIA's Titan, but we're talking 780 Ti versus 290X. Anyway, so I did a bunch of benchmarks in my machine and did some new benchmarks with some new drivers. And here's what we came up with. So let's get down to business right now um, with Skyrim. Now I run Skyrim in a very strange fashion. I've got tons of mods and I run it at 2400 by 1200 because I can. So with the uh, 290X, 34.36 frames per second and it never dropped below 30. With uh, the 780 Ti, 48.20 and it never dropped below 42. That's why you pay extra for just for Skyrim. <laughs> it's, it's quite a bit faster than Skyrim, yeah. All right, Bioshock. 1080p with the, uh, the 290X, 73.2 frames per second. And with the 780Ti, 85.48 frames per second. Let's bump it up to 1440p. It is 56.28 frames per second with the 290X and 68.6 .6 frames per second with the 780Ti. So again, that game um, really relies more on the graphics card uh, than it does on the uh, the CPU. So that's probably a, a pretty good indication of just, you know, how much more horsepower the 780 Ti has overall. Will the uh, 290X catch up? Well, well, let's keep going and see what happens. 290X Crisis 3 at 1080p, 42.40 frames per second. The minimum was 37 and the max was 58. So it's very playable. And uh, we benchmarked this at a very crazy part of the game. The 780 Ti at 1080p is 40.3 frames per second and it dropped as low as 33. Let's crank it up to 1440p. The 290X, 27.24 frames per second and the minimum was 24. So not a lot of variance there in the, uh, in the you know different frame times. And at 1440p with the 780 Ti, 24.48 frames per second and the minimum was 22. Uh, so this is one game where the 290X does a better job. If you guys want to see all the frame times for all this stuff, I'm going to put all that information on the website, but I didn't want to get into that in the video. It's just too much stuff. But you guys can go to the website, download a zip file, and look at everything. Metro Last Light on the R9 290X. 1080p, 45.04 frames per second. On the 780Ti, 50.26 frames per second. Let's bump it up to 1440p. 290X is 29.11 frames per second. And the 780Ti is 33.39 frames per second. Moving on to Trine 2, 1080p with the 290X, 97.28 frames per second. And Trine 2 at 1080p on the 780Ti, 99.20 frames per second. We also made sure that the frame limiter was off and ran the test several times because I was like, eh, it's like 99 frames per second. It's probably hitting the 100, you know, FPS cap that's on the game. So we made sure that was off. 1440p trying to the 290x 53.20 frames per second 780ti is 62.42 frames per second all right the last thing we did was a canned benchmark we did valley because it's pretty and i like to watch it it is it's soothing this is, everything's maxed out unless we say otherwise everything is maxed out all right 1080p on the 290x 60.1 frames per second and 1080p on the 780ti was 70.7 .7 frames per second 1440p on the 290X, 39.2 frames per second. And on the 780Ti, 44.6 frames per second. So, in our tests with the newest drivers, the 780Ti handily beats the 290X in every game except for Crisis, where we see uh, just better frame times with the uh, the 290X. Now, we have to take into account that it's typically, if we look at the you know MSRP, it's a couple hundred bucks less expensive. Is it worth a couple hundred bucks to get, I don't know, five to 10 extra FPS. I think so, so that's why I'm using the 780Ti in my system. However, uh, the 290X does have benefits. For, for interest, 
Uh, for instance, if we look at Luxmark, which is a you know measure of open CL ability, the 780 Ti is, uh, scores 19, 19, uh, whereas the 290X st scores stores it scores 3196. So the overall you know open CL power is just ridiculous with the with the AMD cards. That's why everybody's buying them up for Bitcoin, and that's why the the market right now is so messed up. Uh, you know, everyone's out there gouging the prices up. If you guys see one of these things around 500 bucks, the 290X, especially one like this with a, you know, a custom cooling unit, just go ahead and grab it. It's the best thing you're going to get for 500 bucks. You may also want to compare it to a 780 Ti, depending on your needs. Uh, but we also have Mantle coming out like today. We're going to do another video with Thief very soon, just comparing, you know, the Mantle versus DirectX, just with the 290X to see how much of a bump you're going to get in performance. Um, with the high-end cards, you're only getting a few FPS in general with Mantle support. So the lower end cards tend to see more of a bump. So yeah, just tough to think about. I'm not going to pick a winner right here. You guys know I'm using the 780 Ti. Pistol's using the 290X. Um, she's got a you know, rig that's basically built for streaming and gaming and mine's built for destroying worlds and whatnot. What? You just play Quake. Yeah, I know. I've got this system. I play Quake and indie games. I, I use Premiere, so that's nice too. But. OpenCL and Premiere is pretty nice these days. We're gonna do some more battles. We've got Xeon versus i5 versus i7 versus some things. Uh, we've got my rig in total versus Pistol's rig in total, and she's got a 9590 and a, the 290X, and I've got the 4930K and uh, 780Ti. So stay tuned for all these battles. A Xeon video coming up very soon too. Just a lot of fun stuff. Just, you guys stay tuned. Don't even, just, just wait right on this channel. Just click refresh until tomorrow. Maybe it'll be good. Turn it off. God, turn the camera off.